Bonjour, bonjour, c'est Aigon. Bienvenue dans ce nouvel épisode de Et les Noirs. Nous allons entamer l'avant-dernière enquête de la division criminelle. Et c'est parti. Ah bah il est pas mort. Hello, Miss Lichtman. How long have you been sitting there? Not long, Mr. Kelso. You look lovely, Princess. You haven't exactly caught me at my best. Okay, Miss Lichtman. I'm a big boy. I know how to take my licks. Please, call me Elsa. Okay, Elsa. What can I do for you? I'd like to explain because I... I can join the dots, Elsa. Cole needs your help, Jack. The police department have frozen him out. Look, you're obviously a brave lady, but you can't fight all Cole's battles for him. I just wanted to apologize for... You don't have to apologize. You were right about Elysian Fields. Tell me something. What was Lou Buckwalter's regular job? He was a carpenter. He built sets for Arkeo, Warner Brothers... A set carpenter? Perfect. If you don't mind, Elsa, I'd like to get a little rest now. I've got a lot more dots to join, and it's making my head hurt. That's perfectly understandable, Mr. Jack. I hope we can meet again under less dramatic circumstances. I hope so too, Princess. I'd like that. You Kelso? Who's asking? Peterson, assistant DA. You're in the wrong building, Peterson. This is a hospital. <laughs> a wise guy. Let me tell you a story, Kelso. Can I get the abridged version? My head hurts. You're a funny guy, Jack. What do you want, Peterson? A colorful character mentioned your name. He said that you might know something about... There's a problem with colorful characters, Peterson. First they send you over a drink, then they buy you dinner, then you get a phone call in the middle of the night for a favor. Try rubbing shoulders with some solid citizens. They're the ones you're supposed to protect. You finished, Kelso? For the moment. I'm going to run for DA, Kelso. The current administration stinks. And you want me to help? I'm looking for a DA's investigator. You get a gun and a badge and $120 a month. I get $150 a month now. I'm going after the vice squad, Kelso. It's going to get me elected. I've got something better. How about Leland Monroe? The property developer? Do you think I fell down the stairs? Mm-hmm. Je rentre chez Curtis Benson. D'accord. Donc en fait. Donc en fait, on a plus on fait plus l'autre là. Thanks for the patch up, princess. Might be the only R&R I get for some time. Non, il y a rien. Bon, on sort de l'hôpital.
Casting clean et casse pas dans le tank. Hop, on va s'arrêter là, on fait demi-tour. Voilà. Et maintenant la voiture qui est par là. Ah d'accord, je peux aller plus vite en faisant comme ça en fait, sans conduire en fait. D'accord. Ok, c'est bien noté. C'est moi juste maintenant que je sais maintenant. Ah bah, il tourne, automatiquement il tourne à gauche lui. Euh, donc ça c'est le 3 donc le 2 Remember me? Jack. It's good to see you. You've caught me at a slightly inopportune moment. Can we do this some other time? Back off, Curtis. Move away from the door. Jack, there's no call for that. You're smooth, Curtis. I'll give you that. You try to get me killed and you still manage to be polite about it. Jack, how could you accuse me of having anything to do with that? I want to know all about you and Monroe, Curtis. You give it up or I beat it out of you. Get the fuck out of here, Jack. You're fired. Who do you think you are? Get out of town now while you still have the chance. You have no idea what kind of forces you're dealing with here. I guess we've exhausted the passive options. <clears throat> Oof. Sit tight, Curtis. I'm taking a look around. Sur la société. Alors, comme par hasard, on trouve euh, en évidence les preuves. Tout sinistre par ciel ou peut-être. Qu'est-ce que tu espères trouver, Jack Jack, you've made a terrible mistake. Get out while you can. I knew you were in bed with a lesion, Curtis. Now I know why. To get all of the stockholders, I need to follow the paper trail. What exactly do you expect to find, Jack?
Jack, you've made a terrible mistake. Get out while you can. Y aller. Ça. Et non plus. On parlera après. D'abord, je fouille. Tiens. Ouais, ouais, ça sert à rien ça. Faux indice. Tiens. How old are you, princess? Sixteen, Mister. How old are you really? Nearly thirteen. Oh, le pédophile. You take love where you can find it as you get old. Love? That has nothing to do with love, Curtis. Some might find your romantic notions endearing, Jack. I find them very tiring. You're finished, Curtis. That remains to be seen, Jack. I haven't told you about my new job, Curtis. DA's investigator. Who do you think the DA reports to, Jack? Get dressed. You're getting out of here. He's not so bad. He just lays on top of me and grunts for a few minutes. He's kind, and he buys me nice things. Get dressed. You're leaving. She will only come back. I want answers, Curtis. So pay attention. Please, Jack. I'm not a violent man. I don't get it, Curtis. You're vice president of the company. Why take the risk? It's a simple business transaction, dear boy. You're lying, Curtis. Something happened at the company, didn't it? That's why you took the bribe. Bribe? What bribe? How can you accuse me of benefiting ahead of the company? I notice that the share certificates are in your name, Curtis, not the company's. What did you use as collateral? Those sons of bitches in Sacramento. They passed me over for president. Sent me here because they believed it was a backwater, but they were wrong. Los Angeles will become the capital of the West, not San Francisco. This place will be the city of the 20th century. And I'm going to get my cut, Jack. You're going to jail, Curtis. You and your cronies. We'll see about that, Jack. Tell me about the suburban redevelopment fund. You're talking about the future of Los Angeles. You cannot interfere with these plans. Information, Curtis. Business people who have joined forces to meet the demand for new homes. You're lying, Curtis. They're going to burn those movie sets they call houses, and you're carrying the insurance on them. And how do you prove that, Jack? Rancho Escondido burnt to the ground. California Fire and Life is carrying the paper. Jack, the best result you could get from insurance would be replacement cost. The stakes are much, much higher. Why the big payoff in the Buckwalter case? It was bound to bring it to attention. Who could have predicted this particular confluence of events? Elsa Lichtman as the beneficiary who spurns the cash. The brilliant but flawed detective becoming her lover. And you, Jack, taking their bait. You buy green lumber and use it to build houses. How do you expect it to end? Mr. Monroe has a fine reputation for building houses. What would I know about his choice of building materials? Give me what I need, or I'll beat it out of you. <laughs> It's all there in the case file. If you know what to look for. Very neat, Curtis. Maybe I can't work it out, but Phelps can. He may be many things, but he is one of the best detectives the LAPD has ever had. Your card is marked, Jack. You'll have an unfortunate accident if you don't leave town. Your California isn't the same as mine, Mr. Benson. Not at all. Okay, donc il faut retourner à la Californie. Ah, 
Alors, il coupe tout droit, là. Bon, les enquêtes sont quand même plus faciles que... Euh... Euh... Attends, il faut appuyer sur Y pour aller directement. Voilà, ça nous évite le chemin, on va plus vite. D'accord, bah depuis le début j'aurais pu aller plus vite en fait. Parce que là je crois qu'on a fait assez fait le tour de la ville. Donc. I'm just going up to my office party. Got to check over some files. Take the elevator. First door on the right when you come out. You know the way, Kelso. That broad has socks in it, Brazil. Oula, oula. Wrong men playing at some boy. Everybody in this town is. You wait. Five years from now, all our jobs. So, Curtis, what is it you don't want me to see? Donc la tique là dedans. I could get discovered mm. around the nose. Mm. Ah. Thirty-four degrees, four minutes, twenty-nine seconds north. One hundred eighteen degrees, seventeen minutes, fifty-eight seconds west. Mm-hmm. Nouvel indice. Ouais, d'accord. C'était pas au bon endroit. Approuvé. There's got to be more in these files. There's something else in that report. Insured replacement value for the house is nine hundred dollars. Current value of the house and land is thirty-five hundred. Christ, how many of these dumps are we carrying on the books? I have a detective Phelps of the LAPD here to see you. Have a seat, Cole. Where's the go-between? She's awful easy on the eye for a foreign girl. Does that private dick patter actually work on anyone, Kelso? It's not your style. You were always a little more direct. This is your dime, officer. Would you have helped me if I asked, Jack? A little chuck on the shoulder, shot of semperfy. Fuck you, Cole. Be a man. Why send a woman to do your dirty work? You're a cop. Why do you want my help? I thought a PI might be a little more discreet. I'm no gumshoe. I used to be an investigator for this company before your investigation got me fired. Sorry to hear that, Jack. I'm sorry about a lot of things. Is that an apology, Cole? It's a feeble attempt at one. Yes. Look, Jack, it's a murder case, and I need help to solve it. So what's it got to do with Elysian Fields developments? I ran it somehow. The flyers keep turning up whenever I find a domestic fire. They're boosters, stiffing GIs for deposits, making them wait months for a throw-up house. They're already making more money than they can count. What's turned them into killers? So you believe me? This is why you dragged me into the Buckwalter case. Look, Jack, 
I'm sorry. But if not for me, do it for some of the poor saps who are dying. Or some of the leathernecks who are getting grifted. How about it, Jack? I know you, Cole. You're still beating yourself up over that medal on Sugarloaf. The medal you think you didn't deserve, but you just don't get it. Nobody deserves a medal. It's just the ridiculous situation you find yourself in and how you react to it. You think you failed up on that hill. But courage isn't a tap you can turn on or off. Courage isn't permanent. It's a tenuous and fickle thing. Courage and cowardice exist in every man. Get over it. You got it off your chest. I guess I have. Can you help me, Jack? I'm thinking about it. The Hall of Records is the place to start. Bon, eh ben, allons aux archives. Ah ben, il est déjà. The land registry office. Where is it? Just up the stairs. Thanks. Top scale, you might. Ah, des plaques cachées maintenant. Une sur vingt. Ah, bah d'accord. C'est le nouveau truc qui apparaît, ce quoi. Donc, en haut des escaliers, il a dit. I'd like to see the company details of the suburban redevelopment fund. Certainly, sir. Just this way. Tu demandes pas pourquoi. Tu donnes ça à n'importe qui. All those suburban sons of bitches ought to be listed in here. qui me dit quelque chose là non pourquoi euh, au arche clair je piano machin bidu non ah les de monroe là les landes curtis Courtney, for God's sake, what's he got to do with this? Uh, yeah. I'd like information on a plot of land. Okay, do you have the address? Not exactly. It's a new lot. I have the coordinates. 34 degrees, 4 minutes, 29 seconds north. 118 degrees, 17 minutes, 58 seconds west. All right, that makes it a bit more difficult. Come with me. I believe that is in the Wilshire area, here. Oh là, il faut que je change moi-même. Four degrees, four minutes, twenty-nine seconds north. One hundred and eighteen degrees, seventeen minutes, fifty-eight seconds west. Trente-quatre et vingt-neuf.
Et l'autre c'est 118, 17, 58. It was 34.4.29 latitude. And I'm looking for 118.17.58 on the longitudinal axis. Et attends. 34 17 minutes, 58 seconds west. Oh. The lot number is 1876988. Unfortunately, that is just the beginning. We have at least a million lot numbers in the Los Angeles area. The registrations are in alphabetical order. You need to convert your lot number to a letter. How do I do that? Over here, use this adding machine. There are 90,000 entries to a book, so divide your lot number by 90,000. 1876988 divided by 90,000, yes. Uh, 187, c'est quoi? divisé par 90,000. 1,876,988 by 90,000. Euh, oui. Attends. Euh, oui. Et... Non, ça revient à zéro. Ah non, c'est la manette, putain. 1876988 divided by 90000, yes. Non. Oh, merde. 187 1,876,988 divided by 90,000. 20. A starts at zero, so you want to add one to your number. 21. That number is your letter of the alphabet. Once you have the letter, find the right aisle, and you are in business. You do this every day? How do I find this? Let's see what the site is worth to them. One eight seven six nine eight eight. La. Honda James. No, Honda James. Book value is three fifty. With the new home in place. The improved value of the property is 3500. They can make a killing. But how do they pull it off? Hola. Know why I plumb for the caddy? The extra trunk space. One thing you learn in the war, boys. You do your talking once the smoke clears.
Throw out the guns. Yeah. This Give one's up. got your name on it. Oh, I should be this team. Okay, let's do that. I'm gonna put all the guns. ça parce que ah non il est là Christ just missed sort sort de and in to the left and go to pack you boys I need a word, Courtney. That's okay, Jack. You, you didn't need to come all the way down. It's here. important, Courtney. How can I help? Tell me about the Suburban Redevelopment Fund. What are you talking about? Don't fuck with me, Courtney! Jack, I swear, I don't know what you're talking about. How does your name appear as one of the investors in the Suburban Redevelopment Fund? You're out of your mind. I was down at the Hall of Records checking on a property company called Elysian Fields Developments. Their funding comes from the Suburban Redevelopment Fund. Seriously, Jack, I have no idea. Your name is there, Courtney, with some pretty interesting company. The mayor, the district attorney, some dirty cops, and your buddy, Dr. Harlan Fontaine. Dr. Fontaine? Spill it, Courtney. I want all of it. Fontaine and the rest. Fontaine took the morphine off our hands. Look, Jack, I know you said to get rid of it, but it's okay. I did something good for once. He reinvested the money for us. That's it. That's what's happening. They're building houses for GIs, Jack. I turned a mistake into something beneficial, something that's going to help out the guys. Courtney, they're building matchstick houses. They're going to burn them for the insurance money. They'll probably stiff the poor bastards for the deposits. Please, Jack. Say it isn't so. Harlan's a doctor. A good one. He helps out a lot of people. Looks like he's helping himself, Courtney. You're the fall guy. Voilà, on va rester sur ce, sur ce téléphone qui sonne. Et je vous dis à demain pour la suite de nos aventures avec Jack Kelso. Merci à vous d'avoir suivi cet épisode. Au revoir et à demain.